Welcome to the Unhinged channel. Hi, my name is Yuli Galee. <laughs> What is up everyone, Yulita Lee. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, welcome. Come join the family, we have much to discuss. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and clicking on today's video. We have some chatting to do girls. As you can tell by today's title, I am going to be doing a cider haul. Cider has been on my FYP on TikTok heavy. They have so many cute pieces that I was like, click 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 and i'm like you know what let me just go ahead and go to the website and see exactly what they have new and that is what i got from them today so majority of the stuff i did try to find new items and we do have a wide variety today girl i do have some dresses i do have some tops some bottoms business casual too um and i also have some swimsuits I have been so excited to try this brand since I have seen a lot of their videos on TikTok. Initially, when I did go onto the website, I did have to make sure that the measurements fit. I wasn't really quite sure about how the sizing would fit, so I did have to reference my measurements, and I also had to reference the um, measurements on different items. It's not gonna be like a 3X for all, 2x for all of these that I purchased they will come in different sizes typically I try to keep the same size when I am with brands I do have that that flexibility with some of them but for this one I'm glad I did kind of pay attention to the measurements because they were just a little bit different so um, I do have my measurements as always linked down in the description as well so you can reference the number with the link so it'll be easier for you guys to click on those and to be interested in purchasing them. I'm not getting paid for this, you know. I just wanted to try out this brand and see exactly what they have. So without further ado, and I'm gonna quit my yapping, let's get into today's video. So this is the first one and already I really, really like this. Um, I think that this is super, super cute. I saw somebody with his own um, TikTok and I was like, you know what? Gotta try that one on. So I added this one to the cart and I can't say that it, it disappoints. Um, the only thing is these do not adjust. So you do have to take that into consideration. I will say that these are a good size for me. Um, they do have just a little bit of droop like right here in the front, but um, overall I really like how they look. And I just paired it with a crop top, a white crop top to go with it. And you can kind of like throw some sandals on or throw something really cute on if you're going for that kind of look. These are unhookable, so short stop exactly where I would like them to as far as just being comfortable. Because you know, if you start walking, you know, and you have your shorts too small, then you have chafing between your legs. Like as a thick girl, we have these issues. So for me, the shorts stop exactly where I need them to. So I like the fact that I can also show off some leg in this girl. It does have a front pocket right here. It also has side pockets, which the pockets are really deep and I like that. They're really comfortable. Like I don't feel like the material like is like heavy that will weigh me down. That's the first impression that I got that this would be like a denim kind of print, but it's not. Um, it's really thick. It's kind of like a corduroy kind of uh, materials. It also has a zipper here that you can unzip it, but I didn't. I literally just stepped into this. Um, I didn't necessarily unzip it and it fit me perfectly. The only thing about this is um, if you do unzip this and you're trying to use the bathroom and whatnot and you unzip this, it would be nice to have a hook at the very top so you can hook it and it's easier to zip up. It's not a big deal, but it would be nice for it to have, especially um, as a plus size girl. Cause we have to do all of this and I'm just saying. Another option that you can do, this is another option for you if you want to wear it this way. Um, hey, it's completely up to you. Starter, cute girl, she's cute. I do have on a strapless bra on underneath, however, See the vision, see the vision. What if you put a bando top on? Put a bando top. Yes ma'am. I'm thinking more of a cream color, some like cream kind of shoes, some sandals, and then I would have a cute fanny pack. You would get a cream colored one if you need to, or a khaki color. Mmm. To match. I'm just saying. This is a linen kind of material, 
and it doesn't fit tight on me at all. I feel like this one fits me just right. She has pockets. You have the front pocket as well. So if it's hot in Texas, I need something that's just gonna be like breathable. And I, that's exactly what I feel when I'm wearing this, especially because of the length of the shorts as well as just the size of it. The only thing that I will like gripe about just a little bit is just tying this right here. So I initially tied in a knot and then I tie like in a bow. So you can like finesse it that way. That's exactly what I did. If you need to um, pull this up just a little bit more, you can adjust it just by undoing this. And like for me, I have to undo the knot and then you'll just tie it back. Or if you wanted to, you can just completely not tie this at all and just wear it down like a bandeau top. Like a, like I did previously, just wear this down, but I don't want to feel like flashing y'all on here because I do have a bra on. If I had a bandeau top, then it'll be different. But since I have a bra, I'm gonna keep it PG. You don't see as much droop as it was before. I'll just have to do the same with this one. But for me, this one is super, super comfortable. It's like a uh, ruched rubber. Um, it does have pockets on the side, which, and they are deep pockets, so you don't have to worry about anything like falling out. Just keep in mind that if you do put anything heavy in there, it is gonna weigh it down, um, and it is going to stretch it out. Um, when it comes down to the front, you are gonna have to use just a little bit of like a bra tape. Just to make sure that um, it's not showing right here. Or you can do like a deep cut bra. I wish it had like a button or something right here to kind of hide this area. That way it's not showing anything like in, in the middle. It is office appropriate. It does have a little bit of ruching in here as well. This is something very cute and comfortable that you can wear to work or whatnot, especially if you are in like a, an office setting. What do we think ladies? Tell you what I think. I absolutely love this. <laughs> this is more of a linen romper and I think that this one is just so cute. It does have um, where I can tighten up here so that it's more of a tighter fit, so that it's not showing my bra as much. Some bra tape, adhesive tape to go right here. It'll be fine, just this based on the back. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this is what the back looks like, right? So I can tie this tight. And adjust it um, wherever I want it to be. Boom. Okay. All I have to do is just adjust this. Here we go. Let's have pockets to go with it. Yes, ma'am. She's a girl with pockets. Um, it has a lot of room in a girl, and I love it. But if you do have to go to the bathroom in this, you will have to strip down, or you're just needing to kind of like pop a squat. You can pull these to the side, girl, and just do what you have to do. I don't know. I know that because I'm a country girl, okay? I've had to do it a couple of times. Welcome to the Unhinged channel. Hi, my name is Yulita Lee. <laughs> we keep it real over here. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, girl, I get it. Especially if you don't have knees like Megan. She doesn't. So I understand if you kind of want something that kind of unbuttons at the bottom. Honestly, this looks like a dress. <laughs> Okay, all right. This is actually one that I saw on my TikTok shop. It's kind of crazy because I did have to go to the website in order to find the sizing for me. I'm glad that I did go to the website because she is nice. This is a three piece set. So this is the sheer top that goes over it. I love the cut of it, where it stops. It has pockets on the side of this. Um, I think it just sets it off. Pants, they are very much so comfortable. They do have a lot of room in them. They are breathable. I do like to wear mine high waisted and I do love the fact that they do accommodate that. For me, they're just a little bit longer than I would have anticipated. These are going to be ones that are dragging the ground. Now for reference, I am 5'6". Can kind of like pull them up just a little bit more, but you won't really get the full effect of the top, right? Now I did have to adjust the straps in the back uh, just because um, they were just a little bit longer than I would have liked and it didn't really go with how it looked up here in the front, so I did have to adjust it. You don't necessarily have to have the top to go with this, but it is a nice little touch that they added um, to go with it. More than likely, I'll probably be taking this off and just probably like wearing the top to go with it. Now, normally I am not a bodycon girl. However, 
the way that this one fits, it fits so good. I do not have on any shapewear and I do feel like it would fit me better if I did have that. Um, I would suggest just wearing some shapewear underneath. Girl, and she goes like, down to, I would say like past my knee, adds a little sultry kind of touch to it. Definitely one of those date night dresses if you're wanting to go out. Um, something to just put on and just know that you will eat. It does have ruching on the side, so it does kind of give that illusion um, to kind of take away from the fact that it is a bodycon dress. She hugs the body just right. This is very stretchy. This is one of these dresses, like if you just want to step out, like your man been acting up and you got to show him. <laughs> you got to show him how you pulled him. This is definitely the dress to do it in. So let me tell y'all something, cider? Girl, y'all are doing it. Okay, let me just tell you about this one, okay? Fire. I think that the way that it ties in the front is the one that really sells me on this one, especially if you wanted to hide your midsection. It is like a bodycon dress. This, for me, would probably get in my way, so you might be able to finesse it just a little bit. But let me just show you what it looks like without me tying it in the front not so flattering do tie it you can kind of finesse it to how you want to go if you want to tie it to the side if you want to tie it to the other side you want to tie it in the middle it's completely to your liking i am able to tie it however i want to so i just wanted to let you guys see exactly how it looks without having shapewear or anything of course when you do wear shapewear it will smooth you out it will snatch you in some of it does some of it Personally, I think this would get on my nerves just because right now it's like to the ground. That's just something that I noticed like what's just trying this dress on. This is longer than the dress itself, so it is going to scoop the ground. At least for me, it does. So you will be able to see your undergarment just because of the material being so thin and the fact that it is very stretchy. Wear like some seamless underwear. I would suggest doing that. Let's try this. Maybe tying it around. You could do that. Tie it around and then tie it in the front. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Put it right here. You won't be able to notice the difference. And then tie it again. It'll create like a snatched waistline. And that way, you know, it's a win-win for you. <laughs> okay. Um. I initially tried this dress on with a bra. I did do like a push-up bra. And um, I didn't adjust the straps at that point. You still tell the, the straps were like out there. Um, they were, it was a black bra. I just wanted to kind of see how the cut would look. And I wasn't too fond of how it looks, just it being a black bra and whatnot. But of course, if you get like a white bra, you're probably not gonna be able to tell. I did try it on with um, my nude bra that I usually do a lot of my try-on hauls with. It did not really work out I did try to adjust it based on how it fit and how it looked on the sides did go ahead and adjust the uh, straps to go with it and I did just kind of take them up just a little bit because um, it just wasn't working well in the back so I tried to adjust it and finesse it as much as I could and I think that for me it really worked out well um, just based on how it looked in the back however in the front the low cut it still showed and I wasn't really a fan of how it looks so I took it off. <laughs> so this is just me like you with absolutely no bra on and this is how it fits. So just keeping in mind the girls and whatnot, you know, adjusting. This dress is just like cute, cute pictures outside. When you're looking on the side of it, it does have a high low cut. Quality of the clothing is not bad at all. It doesn't scream cheap to me. Now, like I said, this is the first time that I'm trying cider and I really like everything that I have seen so far. Then it does have the lace embroidery right here, as well as on the deep cut sides of the top part. I absolutely love how it looks in the back, especially when it comes down to the sides. It does have a slip up underneath so you don't have to worry about your undergarment showing and the way that it does have a sheerness to the top. Now this is a sundress, okay? But it's not the sundress. If you know, you know. I think that this is just one of those that's just like, they get it. <laughs> the brand actually gets it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. 
The top part, I was concerned about at first. You cannot really tell that I actually have on a bra at all. It's just the way that it sits for me. Sometimes, depending on what I'm wearing, um, to be sure that it fits me right and that I feel comfortable enough to wear it. Because I'm not about to be out here <laughs> hemmed up, stitched up, and just very uncomfortable. You're gonna see it on my face, and it's just not gonna be an overall good experience for me or anybody else around me. So I am opted for comfort when it comes to wearing my clothes. I think they did the bust in here superb. Like, I can't believe this fits me. Girl, it fits me like this. When I put this sucker on, it just kind of like snatches me in, like right in here. Trying to hide in midsection, it does really good at that. I think this is very Bridgerton-esque. It's just the colors and whatnot, the floral patterns, all of that. That's what it reminds me of. Um, so I think this would be such a cute Bridgerton dress, like if you're going out. Not of course like to the ball or like the Queen's um, diamond selection, Not nothing like that. Um, I don't have to worry about the back part because it does have enough coverage up top. I did have to uh, zip this up from the side in order to get in it. It's not something that you can step into because it is like shape fitting. It also does have ruching on the side of it. The straps themselves are adjustable too. Even though I did not, I feel like I can. Um, I still have that room. I think that this is such a pretty, pretty dress. Starting off, we're gonna start off with the tops and then we're gonna move to the bottoms. So this one may look a little bit familiar because it is one that is kind of like solo dolo aside from the pants that it comes with. The top itself, it does give me the vibes from the actual three piece set that you've seen earlier. Um, it does kind of like fit the same, but I think that it fits just a little bit better in the bust. And I did not even adjust the straps. I just literally put this on and this is how it fit. So for me, I absolutely love the top. I think it's something cute. Um, I would probably just wear the top out by itself. Love the lace of it. Makes the girls look good in the front. It does come up to the neck like here. 10 out of 10 for me. I wasn't even intentionally trying to put these two together, but they kind of like go together. I don't know. The shorts are comfy really comfy. These remind me of the pants in the three-piece set. Black long pants that went all the way down to the floor on me. The material for the pants in the, the three-piece set is like the same material as these. It feels the exact same. It's just like they're cut into shorts. They fit really good. They're flowy. The pockets are deep enough. So I think that this is going to be added to like my wardrobe because I really like this, the top and these shorts. And I just like the pleats. We're going to move on to the next Next one, girls. Where have I been? Okay, so first and foremost, we're gonna talk this bodysuit. Yes, she is a bodysuit. Um, this is so smooth, it looks so good. I really like something that snatches me, you know what I'm saying? This is what I think is very business casual when it comes down to wearing this to the office, um, especially the pairing of the two. Now, with the bodysuit itself, I do like that it is stretchy. It does have like a little curl neck situation going on up here. It is full coverage, so you do have coverage in the front, and you also have coverage in the back. Now, we're gonna move on to the pants. Uh, they are very wrinkled, yes ma'am. Uh, so I am going to just kind of like steam these out and see how they look then because the crinkles right here, I don't too much care for that. Taking them out of the pack, I want to kind of get a good overall feel for how they're supposed to look. All right, you guys, so I am back. I finished steaming them and I think they look so much better. After you get all of the wrinkles out, that's when you get the full overview of these shorts. The pleats in them, I think that's what really sells me on the shorts, especially for that business casual look and for the summer. Do stop right at my knee. So they do have elastic in the back part of them. Front part, not so much, but once you do get to the back, it does have that elastic. Um, they are like a linen pants. Let's move on to the next outfit, girl. This is the vibe. So this just feels luxurious. But as you can tell, it is 
um, a bit see-through. Just the material is very thin-like. On the side of it, you can see the ruching right here. So if you wanted to wear this kind of like here, you can kind of play with it and wear it like that if you want to. Um, but I do overall like how it looks. It is something simple. You can wear this on a casual kind of day. For the skirt, let's chat. The skirt is the show. So whenever I did get this, I did not know that the belt came with it. Yes, ma'am, the belt came with it. And the belt adds that classy, touch to this. I think that this look together goes really well. A church look or if you're going to an event, kind of like an upscale look. It doesn't have any pockets on the side, but I, I really love how this looks all together. It's just very cute, very classy. I'm glad that I paired these two together. Like elegant on the low. Yeah, girl. This shirt, I'm just gonna say, this shirt is so cute. And I think the idea is there but it's just not quite it for me okay so here's the thing um braless so this is just the vibe okay just in case you're one of those girls that'd be like you know what fuck a bra they're gonna be out today this is how this wears this doesn't like adjust does not have any adjustable straps because these straps are stretchy so you can't actually adjust them or anything they just are what they are that's number one. Um, number two, I'm glad they have enough up top for the heavier busty girls. But for me, mine are just here. <laughs> They're free in here. You can wear this to a festival. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but I think it's a bit big for my taste. So that could be it on the fitting of it as well, just because I have like a lot of room up here. It fits big on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially with the straps and with the bust as well so for this one i definitely would advise going down a size this could be a little bit smaller on me and then it'll work out a lot better so for these pants these pants i feel they are very like momish they feel like mom jeans but like mom shorts but they are really really comfortable just a little bit wrinkly because i did get them right out the bag and just like kind of like trying them on deep pockets as you can see the fact that i still have room in these so I think for me, I probably would downsize in these. Yeah, these are huge. So far, it's just like the sizing and whatnot. So not an issue. Let's see what we got next. Hmm, what do we think? So this top is one that I did have to adjust going in just because it did not fit me correctly. Going in, you will have to adjust this one. I would prefer to not even wear a bra with this one, but it's completely up to you. It's meant to fit like a corset, and it does have the cutout, but it's not anything like that's really supported. You know what I'm saying? Like it has just like the the cups here, but it's not like you got that um, underwear underneath. You don't, okay? So when I did adjust it, I did use the adjustable straps, and that was one thing that I was really concerned about because the adjustment was at the very bottom that I couldn't even see it. And I'm like, oh no, you know, I'm terrified. Like, you know what? This may be one that's just not meant for me to try on. And I did have to do the lift and sit. You know, I did have to lift and sit them in, you know, just a slight adjustment to make it work. But other than that, like, I mean, it fits fine looks good like i don't have any complaints about it especially the back when i tied the back if you know you know i just did the little around little adjustment switched it around put it back on still get out of it i can still slip out of it but it's comfortable enough to not be slipping and you know moving around all day this is super cute again cider First time trying y'all, and y'all doing me like this? <laughs> it does have good stitching when it comes down to the bottom part of this. It doesn't have the grips as well as the pads in here. I don't feel like they're more, they don't feel cheap. They're more fuller coverage up here. The reason why they're able to be adjusted just a little bit more. Love this right here. Cutie, cutesy. <laughs> You got the frill, you got the full coverage in the back, and it is high waisted. It does have enough right here. Found my color, y'all. Coral kind of color, and I'm like, oof, sold. Give it here. 
for the bottoms, it does have ruching in the front as well, so you can play with that to, you know, kind of conceal just a little bit in the tummy area. Don't play with her. Don't play with me. Six plus two, four plus four, seven plus one. Shall we continue? <laughs> Shall we continue? Five plus three. The top, wonderful. Feels like my girls are secure in place. Um, based on the elastic in here, I can pull it as tight as I want and double knot it, triple knot it in the back. Straps up here, I feel that they are really secure too. Double knot it, triple knot it, right? The thing that really gets me is the fact that the knot in the back is the one that's holding this up. So it may cause just like a little bit of friction in that one spot. So that's the one thing that kind of like Eh, not really feeling it. It's not back here on my neck. It's gonna annoy me the entire time. Now, for this, the cup up is really what adds the icing on the cake, like the cherry on top. Like this is what sells the swimsuit, I feel. I decided to tie it like a little cutesy to the side, whatnot, um, just because, you know, when hide your midsection and whatnot, this is a cute way to do it. It does have that ruching effect here and it is designated to tie like on the side so that the way that it's cut, um, you it's like you can't go wrong either way you shuffle it around. As you can see, it does have that angle. So that's why I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it on the side. But I love it. I think this is what really sells a swimsuit. Um, just in case you're not really comfortable wearing just the bottoms by themselves, you're not really having your bottom out like that, then you can wear something like this. And last but not least, I would say for the bottoms, they are very comfortable. I would say that they're like a mid-rise kind of thing. They're not as high-waisted as the pink ones were, but they still kind of do the trick. This is just like a, something that you just lounge in. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really doing too much in this, especially with these. Cute. This is something I go on vacation wearing. This is similar to the one that I had previously as far as uh, the cover up goes. And I just think this is cute. I thought at first they were cherries, but they're strawberries. Um, I think that is a good coverage. Um, it is a bit high in the booty, um, but it's not like really bad. The bottoms, they fit really good. Um, they don't really crawl up in my butt. I don't have to worry about pulling them out every two seconds. Uh, and it does come with the cover up, so you can adjust the cover up to your liking and cover whatever you need to cover, girl. Like if you want it high, if you want it low, if you want it, it's up to you. It's up to you. But let's get into this top. I do like how it's cut right here, as well as the straps, they are adjustable. But I do pull this down, just gotta give you guys another look. All right, you guys, here's another one. Of course, this one does have the cover ups go with it, and as you can tell, I just tied it to the side. Really love these cover ups. So for me, I really enjoy how the top is. It does have pads in here and I can adjust it. And I do feel that it is enough room for me up top. And it's not so loose up here either. Like I feel like I'm very much so supported when I wear this. Of course, it does not have that coverage. Kind of wish it did, but either way, it doesn't matter to me. I'm still gonna wear it if I like it. So this you just put over your head and you just tie this up here. So you can control how loose or how fitted you want this to be up here. Um, definitely didn't do anything really crazy with this. I just put it, just tied it in a knot right here. The bottoms themselves are full coverage. This little leopard print cover up is really cute. Yeah? What do we think, ladies? All right, you guys, so that is the end of today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, it does help me out a lot, and it also lets me know that you wanna see more videos like this. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section, which one was your favorite outfit. And before you go, make sure you click on this video. Um, I do have more videos that I think that you might enjoy, so check them out here, and I'll see you in the next one.